Hi guys, Micro here. This is my video on one of the new Lunar spells, Sift Soil. This is really, really good at high levels of archaeology. It's kind of like normal soil sifting, right? The higher archaeology level you get, the more money you get from it. The chance of getting materials at higher level archaeology, I believe it's 114 or higher, is 100%. So the fact that you're always going to get a material when sifting soil at the higher levels means that you're going to make a ton of GP. At low levels, this would not be worth it. Just like normal soil sifting. You're only going to make a couple of mil at low levels, but at high levels, it's over 10 mil an hour. So getting into this video, the recommendations I would say would be 99 archaeology and the elite archaeology outfit. The reason why I'd say the elite outfit's kind of needed is it increases your chance of getting materials from soil by 7%, which is pretty huge. And by the time you're 99 archaeology and you have the outfit, you're probably going to have about a 65% chance of getting a material. But like I said, the higher the better. I believe it's 114 to get that 100% chance of getting materials when sifting soil. So it's going to be best used at 114 plus. With my setup, alongside the elite outfit, I have Grace of the Elves, a Luck Ring, the Brooch of the Gods, an Elemental Battle Staff to give me all of the Elemental Runes. You can buy that on the GE for like 2 mil. Then I have a Rune Pouch with Astral Runes in it. Astral Runes are the only other rune you need to sift soil with this spell, because the rest is covered by the Elemental Battle Staff. Inside your soil box, you want 500 of every single soil. This means that you only have to bank two times in an hour, as your soil box will hold 2,500 soil, and you can just stand next to the storage deposit. One other really useful thing is the Premier Artifact. Activating the Premier Artifact once a day for an hour makes it act as a porter 50% of the time, which really helps with the AFK side of this, and it means that you have to click the deposit on the storage way less often. Now the set I've spoken about, let's get into the actual method. The method is so simple. All you do is keybind your Sif Soil spell, have all of the soil in your soil box ready to go, stand next to the storage deposit, it can be anyone, I'm just standing in Warforge. Then whenever you get a full inventory, just deposit your full inventory into the box. Also use a Water Fiend as it has a chance of doubling the material that you get. Then when your Water Fiend is full, you can take from your Water Fiend and deposit that as well. You can't get additional materials if your Water Fiend is full, so just make sure you're emptying it whenever it does become full. This is why the Premier Club Artifact is so good. It really allows you to AFK much harder, sending 50% of them to the storage automatically. When you use the Sif Soil spell, it goes for up to 100 casts, but if you're using the Premier Club Artifact and you're standing next to the storage, you're probably only going to cast it about 50 to 60 times before having to deposit and go again. Judging that you have a 100% success rate of getting materials. At lower levels, if you have like a 60-70% success rate, then you're going to be able to AFK for a little bit longer, but get less GP. It does use an astral every single soil sift, but the price of materials is so much higher than the soil that you're still profiting heavily. This is why I wouldn't advise it at low levels though. Because at low levels, you have such a low chance of getting something from the soil that it's just not worth it. That's why I recommend 99 and the outfit. And this is a higher level guide, so it makes sense. Not only do you have to bank less with this spell, it also sifts the soil a tick faster. This means you can do way more soil an hour, and I managed to do 5,300 soil in one hour. Sift soil requires level 91 magic and the lunar spellbook. It actually generates 490,000 magic experience an hour, which is super high. That's a lot of magic experience for just doing like a skilling method, right? Pretty damn good. In addition to this, I was getting 110k archaeology experience an hour, and I profited 10.3 million GP in an hour. My rune metrics did say 11.4 million, but I didn't manage to make that much because the soil bought a bit over mid and some of the materials were a tiny bit under mid, but they were pretty much consistent around mid price. So I did make slightly less than the room metrics was showing. But over 10 mil GP an hour for how chill this is, pretty damn awesome. Would recommend this spell for anyone with a higher archaeology level that wants to make some money. I'll be testing out the other lunar spells and making videos on them if they are worth it. Potentially, if you had a ton of porter charges and maybe they're left over from like 120 or 200 mil archaeology, you can just use porters the whole time in your Grace of the Elves and fully AFK this. 
but I wouldn't recommend making portals just for this. It's honestly not worth it when you can stand right next to the deposit box anyway. Hope this video was useful and you learnt something new. Give the video a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new for loads of future content all related to RuneScape 3. And until next time, see ya.